Hello, what's up sa inyo guys? Si Kiyuki here and yes, from this day onward, magsisimula na po kong gumawa ng content for Limbus Company and simulan po natin sa showcasing na mga bago identities and egos na darating on this upcoming Thursday's update. So, yeah. Look forward guys na gagawin ko na siya from now onward. So, if ever man medyo may ngayon background ko, it is. Kasi I'm recording this around quarter to five ng hapon. So, yun yung dahilan kung bakit meron kayo na rin on the background. So, kung meron mang background or something, I'm just gonna go and edit it out if ever. So, yeah. Anyways, let's go and start sa unang identity yun, Devriat Association North Section 3 na Rodion so simulan muna natin actually, may 2 pages siya ayan, kung makikita mo yung passive at saka yung ano niya yung defensive skill at saka yung ano, meron siyang unique trait as well so, bago natin basahin to I'm just gonna go and try to check kung ano yung ano niya eto yung unique skill niya. So, strategic R&R mode. Turn end, recover stagger, retreat from encounter, and then force stagger does not count as that. Okay, so yun. In chain battles, give this unit slots, substitute unit, move rearmost, backup units deployment, escape from encounter entirely. Okay. So, in short, itong character na to, what it does is that, hindi siya mamamatay. Medyo, medyo astig yung ano niya yung gimmick niya. Kasi pag na-staggered siya, so basically magre-retreat siya. May getaway siya na some sort na pag na-staggered siya, doon siya sa pinakadulo. And hindi ko lang sure kung paano mag-trigger or saan part siya na deployment order. Kasi rear most place in the backup list. So baka maging ano to, backup 12 to. Yung Rodion na to, the moment na bigla siya ma-staggered. Yan na tayong dahilan kung bakit meron tayong nakita doon sa trailer, if ever na napanood nyo, na bigla siya namatay. Pero hindi pala siya namatay. <laughs> ano lang, it's kind of like a decoy of some sort. Pero anyways, uh, when return to battle, return with the same amount HP, SP, retreated, eliminate all your effects to select the few. Retreating, reset SP to zero. Okay, sige. This is actually nice. Kasi pag negative SP siya, ang mangyayari is magre-reset siya to zero instead. And then lahat ng mga negative or debuff sa kanya biglang mababawasan or mawawala. Pero it mentions for a select few eh. So it means na hindi lahat ng debuffs ay matatanggal. Pero we'll see kung how that works once na na-release itong character na to. Okay. Uh, career track. Uh, base value zero. Gain X stack. Stack does not expire upon retreat, it is stored instead. At X, stack race min max speed. And then S++ stack gain clash power and slash damage up. Tapos meron pang <laughs> X slash slash stack. On skill use, take stack divided by Y percentage of health. And then stack divided by Y of SP damage. Ah. Okay. At turn end, take stack divided by Y percentage HP uh, before retreat. B applies before retreat. So, pag nag-retreat siya. Okay. I uh, will get into this one later. Pero basically, what it does is meron siyang unique stack. Which is yung courier truck niya. And then, it base doon sa ano sa stock and then it amplifies dun sa damage ng percentage with HP at saka SP. I'm not sure how it works pag walang SP yung kalaban pero maybe uh, it's gonna be an additional damage kung ano mali man pa. Okay. Punta tayo dun sa skills ni Rodion this time. First still pull tayo. So gain coin power of every X courier trunk on self on every Y rupture on target. Okay. Una sa lahat Let's go and check this one dito sa ano ko. Check natin dito sa ano ko. Right now, kung tama pagkaalala ko, wala siyang rupture. 
Kasi ito boys, ito is like bleed ata kung tama ako. Or no, is this a unique thing? Itong bleed, bleed rin to, tremor, sinking, burn, and then tremor. So this is the first ever rupture ni Rodion. So you can actually use her somewhat to charge or any rupture characters. Kung ba, diba? On use, if the target has X rupture and Y rupture count, the skill does not consume targets rupture on hit, but does not inflict rupture with its skill on hit attacks. Okay. This, this is actually nice. Kasi kung makikita nyo, hindi siya mag poprop ng rupture, but it just retains there. It helps, lalo na pag meron kang yung mga egos na kagaya ng Dimension Shredder to amplify the rupture's ability or effects. So, may pagka-support itong karakter na to somewhat dahil ito sa ginagawa niya. On hit, gain career trunk, and then X minus career trunk on self, gain additional career trunk, and then inflict rupture. Okay. So, may pagka-supportive type itong karakter natin. But, we'll see. Uh, deal more X damage. This is skill too, by the way. Every career trunk on self, gain coin power for every X career trunk on self, for every Y rupture on target. If the target has X rupture and Y rupture count, if the kill, if this skill does not on use, if the target has X rupture and Y rupture count, if skill does not consume target's rupture on count. Okay, same lang then. Again, uh, career trunk X on self, gain additional, gain haste next turn. X career trunk on self, additional haste. Level down defense for every current trunk on self. Okay, medyo mixed ako dito dahil sa level defense now. It's actually very powerful if I may be honest dahil doon sa gain haste. And then, she also gains additional gain haste. So, that's basically like 2 plus 2 haste na if ever man. It's actually great pero the problem is that defense level down to. Kung sana man ginawa nila something na something different like bind <laughs> or much better, another rupture, maybe it'll be better. Pero yeah, medyo mixed ako dito. I guess you could say nga, kagaya nga na sinabi ko, this is, she's gonna be more on the defensive side or uh, supportive side. Alright, let's go with skill 3. Deal more damage for every X career trunk on self. Gain coin power for every X career trunk on self. Every Y rupture on target. If the target has X rupture and Y rupture count, still does not consume and X reuse its last coin. Okay, that's actually powerful. So that means, ano siya, for or coin siya, if ever mana mag proc down. Inflict rupture, inflict additional rupture for every uh, X career trunk. Protect career trunk, deal more damage after attack. If the tag, uh, target is staggered or was defeated, gain haste. Okay. <laughs> Medyo nag-iba yung <laughs> tingin ko sa kanya. Double check ko lang kung bakit. Kasi kung titignan ko yung passive niya, uh, let me go and I swear and I'll make it in time. For chain battles when after retreating with strategic iron mode, R mode, if this uh, unit rejoins battle, half the career trunk value. Okay, sige. That's... Why though? I don't know bakit. Sobrang alat na to. Dapat hindi nila tinanggal na to. Ay, hindi nila dapat nila ginawa to. Yung i-half yung career trunk. Anyway, uh, passive, speedy delivery. Uh, turn start, X plus speed. Or if this unit has ace, gain counter trunk. Percentage of this unit's max HP or shield. Okay, okay. Upon the retreat, apply clash up to two allies next turn prioritize substitute units first then deployment order ah so there's a possibility na magkakaroon ng another debriat unit that's for sure kasi yung substitute units first emphasizes na this is a debriat eh, or a unique uh, trade for debriat association uh, units last for additional turns for every next career trunk on self Okay, I see. Eh, go tayo sa defense. So, may dalawang defense siya. Okay. At X career truck, activate just a strategy tank of instead. So, may specific ano siya, trigger siya. Okay. 
bar, pa, bago ang lahat. If this skill is to be activated, gain career trunk uh, percentage of this unit's max HP as shield. When you use gain career trunk, at less than X career trunk, gain plus one career trunk. Okay. If this skill is to be activated, okay, activate strategic. Oh, okay. So you can actually control her. Na pwede mo siya ipagpalit if ever mana trip mo. I guess you could say na ano siya, offensive support siya in sense. She's actually an alright unit. It's just quite unfortunate lang yung opportunity niya with the second skill dahil sa defense level down. I really hate that. It is quite unfortunate. The, the unit is so great. But ayoko lang talaga yung defense level down. That's all I could say. Malakas to dahil meron siyang rupture, maintain, or sustain for other allies to amplify the damage for the rupture. And then as well as dahil nagbibigay to ng rupture sa target, mataas ang sustainability ng rupture. Kasi kung alam niyo naman yung rupture ang ginagawa is that it amplifies the damage for every strike doon sa ginagawa mo sa enemy. And the good thing is that uh, sinusustain ni Rod yun yung Rapture. So, offensive support siya in a sense. That's all I could say. Uh, should you get this unit? Kung meron kang charge or Rapture, you'll definitely have a good time with her. Especially, hindi ko lang alam kung paano mag-work out yung deployment. Kasi yung, ano, yung chain battle, di ba? Mapupunta siya sa dulo eh. So, we're still gonna go and try to get the feel with the deployment. Kasi hindi ko pa siya na ma-maximize. Especially na bagong, ano siya, bagong mechanic sa Limbus, di ba? Yung na-introduce yung chain battle. Just like few, like, just like two updates ako ay eh, kung tama pagkalala ko. So, yeah, you could pull this unit if you wanted to. Offensive support and then rupture charge unit or team na meron ka, it'll definitely uh, do well. Alright, dito naman po tayo sa next na ego ni Ishmael uh, Bygone Days, which is a uh, tech type uh, ego. Okay, let's go and double check this one first. Base kay Ishmael, it is a sinking focus character. And the only character na meron ganun na sinking amplification which is si ito, si Molar Boatworks. So, it's a good thing that you can use her and then ito kasi that type uh, oh, sorry. He pala to. Ito pala yung tech. So, pwede po yung, pwede mo ipalit yung Rosette, Rosette's Desire. If ever man na, it's not your fancy. Especially na Pierce type itong damage na to or attack na to. So, going back to the Awakening skill, Ego, it is a Slash Gloom. Before attack at X highest reason, gain attack weight. If the said reason was a Gloom reason, uh, gain attack weight. So, <laughs> wait lang. Hindi ko lang sure kung anong attack weight to, pero may plus 2 attack weight to if ever man na may Gloom reason. After attack, heal two allies with lowest HP percentage by X plus sum of sinking potency and count to the main target uh, divided by Y. Uh, percentage HP. Okay. If the highest reason was a uh, gloom plus, gloom reason, heal HP more than the max health. Oh, okay. Inflict curse. Ano yung ginagawa na curse? May pinagat pa dito. Wait lang. Ah, huh, wala. There are pages rin ba to? Wait lang. Double check na natin. Dalawang pages ka rin ba or just the single spell? Oh, isa lang. Okay. So, kung isa lang, I'm not sure how this curse amplifies. Pero, wait lang. If it's also the same as this one, yung my curse, Ito, may curse to eh. Okay. Sabi ng curse is that turn end, gain one of the following, then reduce its effect by count of one. 
So it's either magiging one attack power down, one defense power down, two defense level down, or two defense level down. Okay. 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 Hmm. Inflict that with invited gloom and fragility. <laughs> It's a better version of Hexnail. That's uh, oh, what I could say. Yeah, it's actually a better version of Hexnail. And then Slash to. If the target has uninvited for any of the panic type changing effects, gain flash power on hit target said target. Heal SP for one ally with the least HP. Uninvited upon this unit's death, a last attacker heals SP, then random ally without this effect gains a stack of this effect. Take more damage of every sinking to oneself. For focus encounters, count sinking on each part separately. Hmm. That's interesting. Yeah, basically, it's a better version of Hex. <laughs> the reason for that is, nabanggit pa lang sa una. Na merong gain attack weight and then it gains additional attack weight for if ever man na merong ano, gloom reason or yun dun sa support or sorry kung na trigger mo yung ano niya yung what you call it yung absolute resonance ata kung tao pa kalala ko but we'll see on how this works eventually pero to what I understand mas maganda siya it's a very good ego especially kung if you're gonna be focusing on the sinking Kasi may sinking, curse, and then ang ginagawa ng curse is that binababa niya yung attack or defense ng target. Pero mas gusto mo magkaroon ng attack down level of 2 dahil, ayun nga, ma magkakaroon ka na high percentage of winning the clash if ever that it happens. Medyo maalat ka nga lang pag nag-trigger yung curse na defense level down. But it works, I mean, I don't know. On why you would, you would uh, want to clash against a level defense down, di ba? Pero, ang pinaka maganda dito is, it's a sinking, and then there's a probability of chance na mag attack level down to, and then gloom fragility. Marami mga egos kung tama paka, sa pagkakalala ko na, that would complement this. Such as. Such as this one, yung fluid suck. And then another one would be another fluid suck, of course. And then, no pa. Ah, uh, no, you don't do that. You don't want, uh, you don't want soda. Yeah, I think that's basically that. Pero, an important thing, ito binds, is also blue. So yeah, it's actually very nice if you could have this. Pwede mo na ipalit yung Rosette, Rosette's Desire. Kasi ang day lang kung bakit gusto mo lang yung Rosette's Desire is because of the Paralyzer. Ano, yung Paralyze often le uh, offense level down. It actually helps a lot. Itong ano na ito. But if you just want to like amplify more of your sinking, or you want to focus more on the sinking team, you'll definitely go and get this. Should you get this or dispense this? I would say na if you really would want it to, why not? Kung nabunot mo to, sobrang swerte mo. Especially na kung merong kang sinking team, di ba? So overall, what I could say is that okay ako for Rodion to pull, but I have mixed feelings with the second skill. And then yung bygone days, Mas maganda kung ito yung mga pull mo kumpara sa identity, if I may be honest. <laughs> Kasi alam niya naman, sobrang importante ng ego, diba? So ayun, other than that, I guess that's pretty much it for this video. So, ilang guys, and hopefully na nakatulong sa inyo, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers!